Hey guys, it's Phoenix. There has once again been a fairly significant change to the commands for 1.13 Minecraft. In fact, we now have something called subcommands, uh, appropriately termed by Dinnerbone here. But there's only been one or two commands that have been changed, which introduces this new subcommand concept. And I'm going to walk you guys through this today. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to look at this, or all the changes, I'm not going to scroll up or down here, but there will be a link in the video description for you guys to check out all of the changes, because there are a lot. I want to share with you guys what this new subcommand deal is. So this comes with the changes to slash execute, and the removal of slash stats from Minecraft. Okay, so if you want to, let's say, execute a command relative to an entity's position, you still need to use slash execute at, and if you want to make the entity uh, the executor of the command, or you want to use as. So nothing's changed there, slash execute still has the same behavior, but there is a new concept we need to discuss later on in this video, which will change the way you use this command. And I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit later, because it's not too important at the moment. So these three things haven't changed from the previous two or three videos. I can't even track how many videos I've made on these changes now. But they haven't changed. That's the main idea. These haven't changed either. So if and unless they haven't changed. So if a block that you specified at this location uh, is the block that you're putting here, the command will run. Uh, or if you use unless, it will be the opposite. So it won't run if the block is there. Uh, so this hasn't changed blocks, so this is still a region. He still hasn't explained what masked means, but I'm still assuming that's just uh, the existence of air blocks will be neglected in the run of this command. And entity is still the same, so if you have the entity matching, it will run the command. Same, same, don't worry about it. Slash stats has been removed in favor of this new subcommand called store, all-in-one command essentially. So we don't have to worry about affected blocks, entities, queries, stuff like that. We want to use slash execute store, which will store the results or success of a chained command that you'd like to run or to test. If you want to test the success of a command that you've placed here, what you want to do is use success. If you want to test the number of blocks, entities, items, a query result, you want to use results. Much better than the way slash stats worked. Um, and from here, you just want to store the result or success as a scoreboard objective in this objective and within an entity. So it could be yourself, it could be an armor stand. Um, so everything here seems pretty self-explanatory. The only minor modification here is you don't have to run scoreboard place set, blah -de blah 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 -de blah blah objective zero, which is something that a lot of people had to do, very annoying, but you don't need to do that now. Uh, this is not what I wanted to highlight, I wanted to talk about this. So the objective must exist, but unlike stats, you don't need to set the initial value for the uh, entity to zero, you don't need to do that, which is amazing. Now the final thing is what this whole subcommand concept is going to boil down to. For whatever reason, it is now mandatory for us to juxtapose all of these subcommands together. And once we're done with that, we need to write then at the end of it. So we have all these subcommands over here. We need to put then to separate the subcommands from the chained command. So these are the new concepts, right? And this only applies to slash execute. Now I'm not sure why this is necessary it might be just uh, to allow us to easily debug certain commands or edit them on an external program. Um, it might also be something technical that is invisible to us, but is very important. Nevertheless, this is something you need to do now. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, it might be nice if he or Dinnerbone used TP here, because this syntax reminds me of slash TP. Um, as the entity and at their position. It's a brand new concept um, that has never been introduced before, but now we are to expect the existence of subcommands prior to the actual command we want to run. There are some examples here that might assist you if you want to use this um, in great abundance in 1.13. It's not really too complicated, it's just something new, and hopefully Dinnerbone doesn't 
go ahead and rewrite all of this because I'm getting tired. <laughs> no, I'm not. Thank you all for watching. Leave your comments, questions in the comments down below and I will assist you or hopefully some proficient command aficionados will assist you there. Otherwise, thank you and take care.